Welcome to Honda to Flash Pro Training Part 33. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with tuning our spark timing within our 10th gen Civic applications. So our spark timing is going to be handled in a completely different manner than what we've covered in our other training videos here in our Flash Pro training course. We'll find that the knock control and the spark timing are going to have a high dynamic amount of adjustability as far as what it can deliver to the engine at any given time. We need to learn how the knock control works, we need to know how the spark timing works, and what tables we need to edit and how we need to edit them to get the results that we're after. We're going to go through looking at some example files here, looking at actual calibration files and data logs to learn what to spot and how to work with programming our knock control and our ignition timing. We're going to have a lot to cover, so let's jump into this video so we can check everything out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our ignition timing programming and tuning within our 10th gen Civic applications. Whether I'm a base model Civic or a Civic SI, we'll find that the ignition timing is applied in a similar manner. The Civic SIs have a few more tables to deal with in relation to our knock control and to our ignition timing. We're going to be taking a look at both knock control and ignition timing tuning within this training video here. What we've learned in our Honda to Flash Pro training course really doesn't correlate or correspond to the 10th gen application. This is a new clean slate as far as our ignition timing goes and how to program it. So we're gonna be looking at things in a little bit different manner here and everything you've learned thus far in the training course for other older uh, Honda applications using Honda to Flash Pro isn't gonna be translating into what we find here. Again, it's a new clean slate as far as programming goes. So the first thing we're gonna do here is go into our course packet for our 10th gens. If I go up here into file open, we're gonna move into our Flash Pro 10th gen packet I have two different examples here. There's a base Civic example. That's gonna be one of the Honda to base files. There's nothing really fancy about this. It's just to illustrate the differences between our base and the Civic SI. The Civic SI file here is one that I've tuned in-house, made a few minor tweaks and adjustments um, from the Honda to map, but primarily they're gonna be very, very close to what Honda to offers right in their directory. And I do have to say that the spark timing um, as far as looking at the spark timing tables and doing the calibration process. There's not a whole lot left on the table by going in and working with the spark timing values. Unless you're running higher octane fuel, then you can start to raise your spark timing values and gain some power. And we'll find that Honda has done a really, really good job of making sure that the spark timing is going to be safe, but produce good power and allow the knock control to function and work properly. So what we're going to start off with here in this video is taking a look at our base Civic file then we can move into our Civic SI file. There's a very minor difference between those two as far as the spark timing goes, and we'll cover that once we jump into the SI file here. Let me go and open the base file up. We're gonna be starting with this first. Let's click open, and we're gonna be bringing it up on screen here. Now, if we take a look here, uh, starting off, let's talk about the mods area. If we jump into mods, we'll find on this particular application, looks like this is gonna be a 2016 Touring CVT uh, example in this particular file. We're gonna go down here and we see under engine, we see this option disable misfire detection. We'll find that if you have an aftermarket flywheel clutcher installed, you will find that the misfire monitors are gonna be skewed and they're gonna probably be reporting random cylinder misfires all the time. In order to get rid of that, you actually have to disable the misfire monitor and the detection here, you're gonna to toggle that box. You'll find that same exact box is available on the Civic SI files as well. So only do this if you have an aftermarket clutch, aftermarket clutch and flywheel assembly and it's giving you a misfire monitor problem and reporting uh, misfiring issues when there really isn't any. Usually it's gonna happen right after you install that clutch or flywheel. You'll notice it's going to be an issue. You have to jump in here and toggle it off. I wanted to point this out. This doesn't necessarily relate to our spark timing, but it does roundabout uh, it, it work with and relate to our spark timing because it is gonna be uh, related to that misfire detection so I wanted to just get that out of the way here, just to note that that is something that you may wanna to toggle off if you're in that situation. So if you toggle it here, that turns it off. If you leave the toggle box off here and don't have a toggle, that means your misfire detection is gonna be on just as Honda went in and set it up in the, in the actual ECU. All right, so let's close this out here. So what we're gonna find is that if we jump into calibration here and we go here under, let's minimize this, under ignition here, we're gonna find we have a couple different uh, values or parameters here that we can click on. Now, if we take a look, we're gonna find under ignition that we have EGR ignition, which is our table right here. If we jump back into calibration, we're also gonna find we have our cylinder trim, so we can do a, uh, an advance or retard per cylinder if we're noticing that one cylinder might be uh, noisier than the rest or having knock problems. Uh, we can actually take a look at our individual knock count per cylinder, so we can see here we have knock count one, two, three, and four. 
we can monitor what that's going to be doing at any given time. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.